Greetings, it's Chappers, and today I've got a short demonstration for you of a really, really cool pedal that I recently acquired. Apologies if you can hear the air conditioning, it is super, super hot in Malta. Today we speak of the Bad Cat Double Drive. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to receive the Double Drive. Uh, it kind of came in a box of t-shirts and cables and bits from the lovely John at Bad Cat, and I thought, oh, that's cool. I had a, a rehearsal with uh, Clockwork, Wolf and Company. Chucked it on the floor, didn't bother putting the grippy, sticky stuff on the back, just whacked it on the board to try it out, kind of thinking, here goes another drive pedal. <clears throat> and I was sorely mistaken. It is unfathomably good. Unfathomably good. And I'm gonna tell you why, and, I, and I'll demonstrate some tones, and I'll have a secondary camera, phone, and I'll show you some of the settings. It is two sides, each one can be used uh, just as a clean boost or as an overdrive, and you can affect the tone and gain and volume as you'd kind of expect. They are in sequence, so one pushes the other, and because of the way it's designed and built in sequence, uh, you can get some really beautiful harmonics and, and singing sustain in your lead guitar. Uh, which is what I'm loving from this pedal the most. Yep, you can set your amp clean <clears throat> and you could do the classic crunch and lead. I don't really use a clean. I, I use a sort of a, a hard driven power amp crunch and then I back off from that crunch to get a kind of clean if I need it. Um, and then I have a heavy crunch and a lead. So that's how I'm setting this today. The amp is as clean as I can get it. So really, <clears throat> your clean tone is... If I bring in all of the volume on the guitar, and that's my favourite kind of tone. It's the sound of an amplifier on the edge of keeping itself together. So it's a really simple pedal, but I'm loving it so much. Firstly, it looks really, really badass cool. I mean, it's blue and red and white, and I suppose that's quite apt for the fact that the 4th of July just happened, which also incidentally happens to be one of my favorite Soundgarden songs, and is my wedding anniversary. It's my sixth wedding anniversary. So it's red, white, and blue. Um, it's by Bad Cat, who you should know and love by now. They are absolutely fantastic, and I very excited to announce I have a new role with Bad Cat as kind of a clinician, ambassador, guy that will tour around with them showing off some of the products in America and hopefully at some point in Europe. So let's start with channel one of the double drive. Going in here, it goes into this one and then it goes out and I'm using an RD1 by Victory. I'm using it as a non-master amp so it's full volume and hardly any of the gain, which gives you that non-master setup. So, um, what I'll do is I'll activate this camera and show you exactly how I've set this as per instructions from John, who was 100% correct. So here's channel one, and you can see the output is just sort of, you know, it's set there. Uh, the tone is just nudging in, the gain is off. This is key for the way that John told me to try it, first of all. And then I've essentially mimicked that on side two. So no gain at all. We're simply using the output to drive the preamp section of the RD1 amplifier. So without the double drive, here's how a little bit of lead playing would sound with my current setup. <laughs> And, oh, by the way, the reverb is from the Immerse Reverberator. And with a little bit of a nudge in the gonads from the double drive, you get this. <laughs> 
So it's doing the smallest amount of work. It's allowing it to go over more into saturated kind of game territory. If I just nudge that up to half of the available output and the tone, so I'm kind of halfway and almost halfway, you soon take it into a little bit more of what you want. Um, but that's not how I would use it. So use it for a little bit of a push, no gain. Now I'm going to activate channel two, and one is going to push two, and they're both going to ram the preamp section of my my poor RD1. So. <laughs> That's, it's frankly a beautiful tone, and it's, uh, it's quite natural sounding. It's not colouring the amp in any way, really. It's just making my amp have more channels and do a bit more than it would normally do. And I love that. It's not using any gain at all. If I crank channel two to halfway up, and do the same with channel one, then you can actually, and I'm going to make it a little bit brighter on channel two, then you can get this kind of territory. is severely tasty. A little bit too much output, but really it's beautiful. So now, why don't we use some of the gain? <laughs> we might as well, you know, we've got a lot of it here if we want it. So I put it back to where it was, and now I'm just gonna put, in fact, I better film this for you so that you can see exactly how I am setting it. So here we are with the channel set the same, but now, I've put that little scotch of gain in here, and I'm gonna give channel two just a little bit more. And actually, I'm brightening channel two just a bit more as well. So the only difference really is more tone, more brightness, and a little tiny bit of gain from each of the channels. Okay, so let's just really quickly remind ourselves, nothing. <laughs> Nice and crunchy, uh, channel one. And lead boost, I've got a tiny bit of uh, in the background, but the amp's driven all out.
oh man, it's just too much fun. It's really a lovely sounding pedal. With the gain, <clears throat> all that happens is you get this little notch in the mid. So yes, it, it colors the sound of the amp slightly, but it's not an unpleasant type of notch, it's the bump. It's kind of what you'd want to stand out, kind of treble boostery in, in, in uh, it's kind of clon-like, put it that way. I need coffee. <laughs> Just for a little bit of a change, um, Humbucker, ML1 Pro X. We have, Chapman has 20 of these left. Just arrived, all being set up. I have laboriously named every single one of them because these are the last ones ever to be manufactured for the 10th anniversary. Um, so if you want an ML1 Pro X, they're at the Chapman HQ right now being set up by Andy and Pablo. They're absolutely stunning. The next came out mega roasted. Bird's eye. Anyway, I've set this up to more of um, kind of a Vi Satch type, long saturated tones, a bit more gain, a bit less volume. So as you can see, I have cranked the output. I've added more tone than before, uh, a little bit less output for this one, brighter, and again, more gain. And this is going to give me that Satch vibe, soaring kind of lead tonality with a bit more reverb and delay from the Immerse reverberator. Well, there you go. It's from Bad Cat. It's the double drive. I double recommend that you check one out. It's really, really good. Anyway, have a great day. Take it easy. Chappers out.